today we'll be going through a real quick unboxing and tutorial on how to wire up a DSN series Meltric plug-in receptacle. Uh, here I have a uh, DSN series, uh, looks like this is a uh, DSN 30. We've got the uh, receptacle and the uh, inlet plug and along with some accessory items including the finger draw plates uh, a, uh, a handle, a plastic angle uh, inlet cap, uh, and then also a, uh, a box, wall mount box, uh, junction box for you know attaching to uh, uh, a panel or a uh, you know any sort of flat surface. Um, so uh, this is how everything arrives, sort of boxed up. Now you can order the Meltric plug fully assembled. Uh, there's some added costs to that, but today we're just going to show how uh, real straightforward and simple it is to, to wire this up. Uh, and and uh, so we have a, a jacketed cable here. And so the first thing that you're going to want to do is uh, get your handle, move some of this other stuff out of the way. Um, now. All of the, uh, the items do come with these really nice and clear, uh, you know, directions on, uh, you know, kind of how to assemble them and uh, kind of how everything goes in step-by-step -step order. So it's really nice. Um, uh, and so it makes everything a little bit easier. So when we're attaching the handle, we want to go ahead and we've got some bushings um, and a compression nut in here. Um, and one of the first things you want to look at on the instruction plate is it's, uh, or the instruction card uh, is whether you have a handle that has a single bushing or what they call a onion skin bushing. And that's going to depend on the size uh, of, the, uh, uh, of the DSN series that you have. And in this case, we have a what we call the onion, um, onion skin bushing. Kind of looks like this, kind of telescopes out. Uh, and so what you do is you just pick the you just pick the uh, the bushing that fits uh, fits your conductor. Um, so in this in this case, uh, it's going to be the largest one. In here, you just sort of take it off, and uh, uh, we'll move that off to the side. And that just goes. You see, right? Or you want to get the one that it's closest. It'll compress once you tighten everything down. So you just want to make sure it's enough to kind of slide over. Um, so, so we have that uh, now, uh, you know, also it gives you a really nice uh, picture on kind of how everything goes in. And so that we can just basically your compression nut uh, is going to go in first uh, and then your um, uh, bushing and Finally, the uh, strain relief uh, kind of goes in, and so the bushing kind of inserts into the strain relief, and then your handle. Um, you know, so the strain relief sort of fits into the bushing that way, compresses in, and when you're ready to tighten everything down, your uh, compression nut basically goes right over and you screw it. Now, we're not ready to do that just yet because we need to do some um, stripping of the jacket. But we'll go ahead and push this back and we'll uh, hold that off here for a second. Now the next step is gonna be to uh, strip back the jacket so that we can get to the conductors. And so uh, real nice and easy way to measure is just sort of stick that in until it touches the back and uh, uh, the, the back end inside the handle and then just draw a line and that's where we'll do our, uh, our stripping here. So we'll uh, may draw a line there and then that's where we'll, we'll cut. Once we have the uh, jacket stripped back, we've exposed the, uh, you know, the conductors here that we're gonna be wiring in. And the next step is gonna be to, to strip these back. Um, and so we'll pull out the uh, receptacle in the box here. Uh, all right, and uh, you'll notice here that it does come with this real handy card attached that gives you um, strip length, and uh, you know it gives you both the receptacle and the inlet uh, uh, strip length. 
And so in this case, uh, we are at, uh, for the receptacle 7 16th of an inch, and it gives you a nice little guide here too, a measurement guide um, to help uh, <coughs> measure that. So we'll just mark that uh, with every conductor here. We'll just line it up to the 7 16th. And we'll just do that with every, uh, every one. And then we'll go ahead. Now we have stripped our uh, conductors here and exposed the copper and they're ready for termination. Uh, so we'll go ahead and grab the receptacle, uh, take it out of the box here. Um, you have the receptacle and the, uh, the gasket that comes along with it. Um, and uh, so we'll just line up, it's uh, all sort of color coded, so we'll line up and insert and just torque down. Um, you want to make sure to get the uh, the uh, jacketed portion in as uh, far as possible. And uh, we'll uh, we'll torque that down. You want to be sure not to over torque because you might uh, uh, strip the uh, terminal screw. Um, now the receptacle does come with uh, torque limits, uh, 15 inch pounds, I believe, here on the uh, DSN 30. Uh, that is also uh, listed on their uh, the, the little tag that comes along with it. Um, you can see it on there. I don't have a torque screwdriver, so I'm just sort of uh, you know torquing down as far as possible. But uh, you'll want to make sure to to get one when you're when you're terminating these. Um, All right, so we've got all of the terminations um, in and uh, screwed and torqued into place. Again, get yourself a nice uh, torque screwdriver and that way you, uh, you can torque it down just right. So um, the next thing uh, we wanna add the gasket at the end here. Uh, you want these little tabs here facing up uh, with the uh, disconnect pole, line that up. Okay, so now in this case, we have our uh, draw plates. So we'll wanna grab one of those um, and uh, insert that. Uh, now they come with screws. Uh, you know, they, you got different screws in here and there's a nice guide uh, in the it comes along with the uh, draw plates that kind of uh, shows you uh, which set of screws to use. And in this case, we have the 613A346. Part number finger draw plate, and that requires the eight by one inch um, screws. So yeah, so that is also listed uh, right in there so you can you can see that so we'll just put those to the side here that's what we'll use to screw everything into place so uh you got your gasket uh and then uh, next is going to be your draw plate we'll just uh, add it. Right. and uh, we we'll want to make sure that the notch here this little notch aligns with the uh the paw here. All right. And then we will add the gasket. So it all sort of just layers together nicely. Um, all right, now from here, it's then gonna be your, uh, your handle. I'm gonna go ahead and start adding the screws just so I could start uh, get every, getting everything in place. The 
the uh, we got the gasket in between there, bring in the handle, um, and uh, the compression nut here will will be the last step. We'll go ahead and start screwing in the uh, all the, the pieces we have together here: the receptacle, draw plate, gasket, handle. So, receptacle put together. Now we just got to finish off the uh, the back end of the handle here. Um, go ahead and stick in the uh, the bushing, and then bring in your compression nut here, and then we'll just tighten that, and then. All right, you can see in the inside there that bushing. You got a nice seal. Uh, it's got a good catch on the uh, uh, the jacket here, um, and uh, you know I just kind of want to just make sure everything is tight. Uh, so this end is done. That's all that's needed on this end. The receptacle uh, complete. We'll begin on the the other end on the inlet side, the accessory items that we have um, to install on that side. So we'll start with the inlet plug. All right, so we got that along with the matching gasket. Got to make sure that's the, you know, got the same one because that's indicates the, the voltage um, for the plug. And uh, again, you got the little notches and you want to make sure those line up at the top. Uh, we also have the other um, draw plate end using the same set of screws that we identified and uh, we also have our angle along with the gasket uh, a wall uh, inlet cap uh, the inlet cap comes with a uh, direction a card with some instructions on it so you just sort of match up the picture with the card that you have there's there's one that's all rubber and then one that has a little metal chain on it so in this case we're using the uh, the all rubber one um, and uh, basically gives you instructions on how to uh, position it uh, you want to have the uh, base of the plug between the voltage gasket and the accessory in this case it's going to be the, uh, the handle uh, and then lastly our uh, wall mount box here so add the inlet cover, which is going to go between the gasket and in the accessory, in this case, the uh, draw plate, just like that. So that's going to get uh, screwed together. Uh, now, uh, at this point, you know, you'd want to do your wiring, kind of thread that through uh and, and and bring in your your wires you know before we did all of this uh because once everything is assembled and, and wired together uh or screwed together it's going to be hard to to reach the the termination points so before we do any of this you would bring in your your wiring on this end all right so we got this add your gasket to the angle it's all sort of going to layer just like that all right so you get your notch at the top you've got your uh inlet coming out from the bottom and whoops this is and this is going to be this way okay so these these this is facing up the little notches here so just like that so all right so we'll put the screws in All right, so nice and snug, I don't want to over torque. And uh, at this point, you should be able to you know, line up your red dots here, connect, use the draw plates, and uh, and connect up. So 
So we have a fully, fully assembled plug-in receptacle kind of ready for use. And then the last step here is just going to be attaching the, the angle to the wall box. So we'll just have a set of screws in here, take that out, line up the gasket, line up the angle, and uh, just add the screws. All right, that's it. Okay, so we now have a uh, fully assembled plug-in receptacle with an angle and a wall mount added. So that concludes the uh, assembly tutorial. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to add them in the comment section or you can reach out to anyone at uh, Cal Industrial. Uh, contact information is available at our website at uh, www.calindustrial.com. Uh, thank you very much.